Hey everybody, it's been a little while since I've done a tutorial and I was having a conversation with some people today and it was about different ways to make portfolios and I was sharing the idea of how you can just create a multi-page PDF in Photoshop to do this and a few had never heard of that before and said I should make a video on it. So that is what I'm doing. Uh, this is just going to be real kind of simple. Uh, so I've set up a folder on my desktop that I threw some just some examples of some images into and then I have this project here just a little fan art uh, from Photoshop so you could use this for yourself or if you're a teacher you could have your students do this as a way to keep track of their information um, and one thing I like to show them is if you go to file and file info you can put in data about your project in here and this is not always used to its fullest extent by people but it's pretty cool so for this one I might say something in the document title as uh, stranger things fan art just playing around with Adobe Photoshop basically the author I could put here oops, sorry not author title but for author I could put in my name and then for the description I just put something in here like practice with Photoshop composites just practicing putting different images together in different ways uh, another useful thing is you could uh, put some keywords to this also so I could go photo manipulation composites um, fan arts and stranger things Eddie you know whatever you want to do uh, for that and then uh, once you have that to your liking we can click OK and so it just stores that information uh, with this graphic now let's say that I want to save this when I'm done so I'll I'll save as and I'm gonna put this into my desktop in this little folder I marked as portfolio and it's just called Eddie for right here is fine and a PSD I'm gonna save it right in there and I'm gonna click OK and let's say I want to take this and some other work and put together like a PDF file of this it's really easy you just go to file and then you can go to um automate and then we want to go to PDF presentation and after that uh, you can decide if you want it to be presentation or if you want it to be a multi-page document I want mine to be a multi-page document so I'll leave it like that and then I might include this in here something like the title I don't necessarily need to put the author in but you could if you want to and then maybe I'll select description so if you wanted to you could have your students if they created that put a reflection in there or something like that that kind of explains what they did or what they learned from it and then I want to go here to browse and if I go to desktop and I go to portfolio I can just control click these to select these objects and then I'll click open it puts them all in here um, if you want to you can click and drag to change the order of these or you can sort by name you can do that whatever you want and then when you have that in the order that you'd like we'll go to save and in that same folder I will just call this portfolio example and save it as a PDF and then this thing comes up so what's the quality of print you want it to be you know you can always adjust those things click Save PDF and then it's going to open up all these elements and do its thing okay and then when it's done that all sorts of stuff open up here I can go to my portfolio folder where I have that file saved and there's the PDF and I will open that up and obviously you know you can zoom in wherever you need to for that 
but then as I scroll down each of these is on its own page so if each document is the exact same size sometimes that's a useful way to print off a bunch of papers that are the same size if you're doing something like that or in this case you know it's kind of digital nature uh, you can look through here and on this one I didn't put a lot of information for it but you can see down here it has the name of the uh, project and then it has my description underneath it that it puts down there underneath it and <clears throat> excuse me and and that kind of stuff so there you have it that's an easy way I think it it works nice uh, it allows you to just kind of conscientiously be saving that data into your images and then when you're ready when you're all finished you can you can just export that PDF file if you decide to add more to that portfolio later, you can always just re-merge it and it's not a big deal. Hopefully you find it useful. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully I'll catch you on the next tutorial video.